everyone, welcome to Hilltop Camper and RV. I'm Brian Jorstad. I'm gonna do a quick walk around video of the new 2022 Jayco Whitehawk 27RB. This is a rear bathroom floor plan coming in at 34 feet long and 6,800 pounds dry. Easily half ton towable with most trucks. This is a vacuum bonded fiberglass sidewall, something that Jayco is big on. Instead of pinch rolling their sidewalls like other brands do, they take the extra time to vacuum bond the sidewalls, not only the sidewalls, but the rear wall of the camper and the slide out end walls are also vacuum bonded. This has a 4,500 pound Magnum truss roof. It is the strongest roof in the industry. So no worries about walking up there. It's got the roof ladder on the back, fully walkable. All Whitehawks come with a gel coated fiberglass front cap with an automotive style windshield. You've got some really cool blue accent lights and the diamond plate on the front to protect from rocks. Your A-frame is integrated with the rest of the chassis. This is something Jayco does that takes more time, costs more money, but it's the right thing to do. A lot of brands out there are going to stack the A-frame underneath the chassis. So the trailer's sitting higher and then that ball hitch of those other brands is not continuous with the rest of the trailer and doesn't have as much structural support around the A-frame and the front. You've got a power tongue jack up here in front of the two 30 pound propane tanks to make it easier for hitching and unhitching. You've got the aluminum tread steps in the front entry space that goes up into the bedroom area. Jayco carries a manufacturer's two year warranty where other brands are only one. And then we have the three year structural warranty as well. As you can see here, we've got frameless windows that are nice because you can keep them open in the rain. They're a jealousy type window and they just look a lot nicer and you don't have to worry about your seams and seals around the windows getting dried and cracked and uh, checking on those. Um, you have a huge electric awning on this one. Notice on this how it covers your outside kitchen. A lot of brands out there, that's where they're gonna save money. They're gonna put a little bit shorter awning, smaller windows. So these are some of the things that Jayco does to separate themselves from the rest of the industry. This also has the Climate Shield weather protection package. They've enclosed the underbelly, ducked the heat down into that area to keep your tanks warmer in those colder temps. And then they've also added a reflective foil under the floor of the slide out and the roof of the camper to keep that uh, weather protection package, not only for the colder temps, but also in the summer when your air conditioning is working hard, it's gonna keep it a lot cooler and more efficient. Uh, this does have a J port feature on it. So there's going to be a beam that slides into here and a tabletop that sits up top and you can put a grill or a blackstone griddle on it. It comes prepped with the quick connect hookup right down below that area. So you can just tap into your propane tanks on the front rather than having to bring extra propane bottles for your grills and stove. Jayco runs Goodyear tires and their wider track axle. These Goodyear tires are a lot more expensive than the other brands out there are providing with their standard tires. And they're made in the United States with an 87 mile per hour speed rating. You will not find a better tire in the RV industry. You've got outside speakers here and here with a little blue accent light in them. And then you've got the spot for a TV bracket here so that you can bring a TV outside and watch underneath the awning here. This step way here is the more ride step above steps that easily fold up into the doorway. They're very sturdy and easy to adjust the legs. You've got a safety grab handle here to help get up into the camper and out a lot easier and safer. You've got the outside kitchen with drawer space, a little fridge for your beverages, and a bottle opener and some storage spots around there. We've got a full size spare tire back here, fully walkable roof. So you've got the roof ladder standard, your outside showers back here. It's prepped for the backup camera up top there. And then you've got reverse lights as well, which most, most brands do not provide. Let's head on inside and check out the interior. As you walk into every Jayco Whitehawk, you're gonna feel a difference between our floor and other brands out there. That's because we're using a 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood floor underneath this linoleum. 
We have more outriggers from the frame to the walls for support. A lot of brands out there are gonna save money and use OSB flooring instead of the plywood. And uh, it's just not as strong. Um, it can absorb water more um, and chip. Uh, the OSB chips a lot more. This floor plan's all about storage. You've got a great pantry here, plenty of space. You can remove some of these shelves and hang up coats in here as well, as you can see the hooks up top here. You've got storage underneath the dinette and they make sure that you don't have to lift the cushions to access it. You can if you'd like, but they've got the doors right on the front. Also notice underneath here, plywood, not OSB. Huge windows. This is a max view window over the dinette area. This converts into a nice bed here for two people. You can get this floor plan with table and chairs as well. Um, and then over into the kitchen area, plenty of storage up top here. You've got storage down below the sink, drawers here, a flip up countertop space to add a little bit of counter space. It's a nice deep uh, stainless steel a uh, double bowl sink with a high rise faucet and a pull out sprayer port. You've got the pop up outlet tower here with USB and 110 outlets. I really like the Furion brand stove. You've got the flip back cover here, acts as a backsplash. And then when you turn the dials on, it lets you know that they're still on by going to the red color instead of the blue. But when this is covered, it's really nice and flush and you've got a knife block back there. Eight cubic foot fridge. Most brands are gonna use like a six cubic foot fridge in this spot. Nice deep lip in the freezer. Um, that's gonna prevent any thawing uh, to spilling out over the front of your fridge and freezer. You've got another pantry space over here with tons of storage as well. Over to the entertainment center area, you've got a 39 inch Insignia TV, you've got a Bluetooth stereo, and down here you've got the Inaflame. This is a 1400 watt, 4700 BTU electric uh, fireplace, so you're not gonna have to burn propane to take the chill out of the air on some cooler um, mornings and evenings. Over here, for extra sleeping space, we've got the tri-fold sofa that makes into a bed for two. And again, look at all these windows that actually open, get a nice cross breeze through. Now we'll head up into the master bedroom area. You've got the interior view of that automotive style windshield. It does come with a pull down shade for privacy. You've got the two blue lights on the sides. Those can switch to a white light. You've got little cubbies back behind. Uh, the storage cabinets for your wardrobe hanging space. So you can tuck your phones back there or alarm clock, whatever it might be. And you've got outlets right on the front of this storage area with USBs and 110 outlets. And there is a roof vent in here. And the nice thing about this bedroom is that it's got more than just your standard storage of wardrobe space on both sides of the bed. You've got a walk-in closet with drawers, hanging space, hooks in a mirror and a countertop area. Right before you walk into the bathroom, in this living area, you do have a big powered roof vent to keep the airflow going throughout the camper. And then you've got tons of counter space inside this bathroom. I haven't seen a travel trailer in this length with this much counter space. Great vanity storage up above, a nice size window, some storage space for linens back there by the shower and a foot flush porcelain toilet and a 36 inch shower. Thanks for checking out our video on the 2022 Jayco Whitehawk 27RB travel trailer. Stop into one of our four locations to see it in person soon.